Aries, good morning and welcome to your general reading. My name's Clive, you're watching Emery's Tarot. It's great to be here. Okay, this is a sun moon rising. It is a general reading for the sign of Aries. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. Let's get straight into this. I do do personal readings, by the way. My email is in the description box below. If you can't see it, just click the more button. I appreciate all your support. Here we go. This is for the sign of Aries. We have the Knight of Swords, the ooh, Ace of Wands, Five of Wands. Mm. Sudden disruption to the peace and calm. Wow, incoming news. Very, very unexpected. Okay, I'm kind of getting that this message or this communication. All right, somebody is trying to convince you of something. All right. This is kind of like a convincing card. I need to put my point of view across. Mm-hmm. But uh, I'm kind of getting there's a bit of resistance here from you. You will not be rushed. You will make your own mind up in your own time. And it's not necessarily to get at anybody, but it's just to, you know, you're remaining calm. One thing with this Ace of Wands here, it's, it's bringing everything to a head. It's bringing everything to a point where there is a decision made and... The good thing here is you, whatever decision you make, you are determined to unstick yourself. Like it's it's promoted you to make a final decision. Once you make this decision, I'm kind of getting there's no stopping you here. Wow, five of wands here. Either way, Aries, you are capitalizing on this. Okay, you're giving this serious thought, and there's a there's a, a although there's a sense of urgency about this, you are no yeah. As I say, you're gonna make up your own mind. You're not letting anybody sway your judgment. I'm even getting that some of you are trusting your intuition now. This is cool. This is a cool energy. It's a very hot atmosphere, you know, passionate. Does have a sense of urgency, but I'm kind of getting you're doing the opposite. You're being much more passive about this. It would seem that you've learned a very, very karmic lesson. Okay, about this situation. Wow, what's in the current? What's in your current energy here? Full card, the death card. Oh, like you say, you're dictating. Mm -mm. Queen of Cups, very intuitive. Now, irrespective of your relative situations with this person, okay, what I mean by that is you could be married, they could be married, okay. But whatever your relevant situations, you are in the process of cultivating something brand new here. Now, when I get the death card, okay, this, this is cultivating something new. This is putting past opinions behind you. Okay, this is also about you, all right, taking a brand new approach. Now, with relationship with... In re in relation to a situation, the death card usually means to me a change of venue, a change of property, relocation, or at least that's the energy. All right. So what I'm getting here is for some of you, okay, you're f cutting a lot of stuff out of your life, including people who you feel no longer serves you. Okay. You are capitalizing on this 
brand new opportunity in the form of this Ace of Wands, and it's kind of like you're doing whatever it takes. All right, you're capitalizing. All right, in the past you may feel you were have been a bit reckless. Okay. This time, a completely different approach. Okay, but there's a there was a kind of a stuck situation here. Maybe it was silent for a while. You know, for some of you, quite a long while. And as I said, this is this is a a, a change in energy, um, possibly from you were about to give up on this. You were about to give up on this, and then all of a sudden, this Knight of Swords comes in and spices things up. You're having a rethink here. Now, whether you're dealing with somebody who is married, you're married yourself, but there is kind of a lot of emotion between you. All right. You're... There is the chance here to reform a relationship, but the level depends on you. Mm. Got three of wands on the bottom of the deck here. That's telling me you're not acting without a plan. You're not acting without a plan. Now, if this isn't a work situation, okay, maybe you've got several opportunities there. And you're weighing up the pros and cons of each opportunity. I'm getting maybe you applied for several jobs and all of a sudden there was nothing and then all of a sudden... It's like everything at once. Uh, but you are, you're finally getting the attention here. In fact, for some of you, more attention than you need right now. Wow. But uh, like I say, you're capitalising on this opportunity. And I'm kind of getting you're going to be the one. You're the one that's saying, well, this is how it's going to go. Let's get a what's coming in what's coming in for a sword all oh, peace and harmony the marriage card the hierophant the tower mm-hmm wow there is some healing here for you Aries let's that's part of the reason why a lot of you are holding back, I think, because you you feel the situation needs a bit more time to heal. I'm picking up a lot of wisdom with you. It's not to say that you didn't have wisdom in the past, but it seems here that you've learned a very valuable lesson. Um, for you, it's all in the timing. I'm kind of getting... You're resisting the temptation to be overzealous. You are... Dealing with immediate priorities first, whether you're buying and selling a property, whether you're changing job, in a relationships, whether it's to, this is deciding whether to continue with it or not. Okay, but I'm kind of getting here for some of you, there is a marriage situation and it's a sudden change. Okay. Tower. You're going to be the one to instigate those changes. That's what I'm getting. You're the one that's dictating the way this goes. You know, for some of you, there was a situation you're in. Okay, it was a stuck energy. You couldn't see it going anywhere. Okay, and you've nothing was changing. It's like you kept going around in circles with this situation, this person. And so you took a break. You took a break. That inspired them to act hmm this tower in the ongoing energy outcome if you prefer to call it that all right is you know an action to me by you this is you taking action after giving it a lot of thought and planning well let's get your energy Moon card, yeah, assessing the situation. Queen of Swords, Three of Swords. Mm. 
perhaps some of you are rebudgeting your finances and leaving the marital home or leaving your present situation. Maybe you want to relocate for work, you know, for work purposes. But uh, there's a, this is not. Although this is bringing everything to a head and it does seem rushed, I'm kind of getting, like I say, you've slowed it down. You're capitalising on this. You are doing it properly on getting. And in your energy, this moon energy, you know, there's to me that's overcoming your fears, adjusting to the sudden change here, and you deciding who and what you're going to cut out of your life. Okay. There's also some healing here. This all co this also could be due with one of you on getting the breakup of a marriage and they're coming back together. Wow. That's cool. But you're, you're certainly unsticking yourself here. See what else is going on? Seven of swords. Yeah, three of three of cups, two of swords. Yeah, you're narrowing down. You're coming to the point of a decision here. It would seem this person you're dealing with is asking you to wait. They are trying to leave their situation as peacefully as possible. Okay. There is a third party situation. They want to reunite with you. They want to avoid confrontation. Okay. And they kind of want to just, they're not sure how you react. So they're literally dipping their toe in the water. There might be a casual message here. Okay. Which will lead to, it depending on how you respond. Okay. You might just casually respond back and all of a sudden they're in. They, Ooh, they're in. They kind of seize the moment. Somebody is seizing the moment. Mm -hmm. But there's there's some unfinished business here for you, and this does give you a chance to clear it up. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.